सो के वन डेज इज ओपन ड्यू टू दिस ए पोटेंशियल ड्रॉप ई डेज इक्वल्स टू आई जीरो आर टेक प्लेस अक्रॉस ए स्मॉल डिस्टेंस इज स्मॉल आर एंड ड्यू टू इट द करेंट थ्रू बेलिस्टिक गेलोमीटर इज Directly proportional to e dash upon g, and again I have written it p e dash by g, where p is the same constant which I assumed earlier. If the deflection in the galvanometer in this case is alpha, then this current, that is p e dash upon g, is equal to k dash alpha. Here k dash is the reduction factor corresponding to current. Now see here the difference. This is what the generally the students miss in the examination. That the constant which we have assumed earlier is proportion is defined for flow of charge. When when due to a charge there is a deflection taking place, and we are interested in measuring the charge. And here this constant of proportionality, the reduction factor is for current. So that is k dash alpha, and the relation between that earlier k and this k dash is that it is t upon two pi, where t is the time period of oscillations of the ballistic galvanometer. coil it is a time period of the coil and i divide the earlier equation with this uh, uh six equation so dividing 5 by 6 and replacing e dash equals to i not r i can write down here also so it will be i0 r upon g i will get l upon r equals to k upon k dash theta by alpha so l is nothing but t by 2 pi R theta by alpha. This is the coefficient of self-induction of the coil, dear students. In this fashion, we can determine the coefficient of self-induction of any coil, and this is called Rayleigh's technique. Now, I will be explaining you one more interesting topic, that is transformer. transformer <clears throat> dear students in a trans i am sketching the diagram of transformer here this is laminated core of rectangular or rather square frame like this there are two coils in the transformer these are soft iron rect uh, square core which are lamin laminated from each other they are simple plates in the form of plates which are laminated from each other dear students this is called primary coil let the number of turns is np this is called secondary coil at the number of turns is ns the potential which i apply here is a variable potential remember transformer only steps up or steps down on the variable voltage is only and i receive a voltage es across the secondary so what are the main parts of a transformer number 1 laminated core second one two coils one is primary across which i will put the emf 
वेरिएबल ई एम एफ एंड सेकेंडरी कॉयल अक्रॉस विच आई विल गेट द आउटपुट ओके नाउ वी यूज दिस सॉफ्ट आयरन कोर सो दैट वट एवर फ्लक्स इज एसोसिएटेड विथ कॉयल इज ऑलमोस्ट द मैग्नेटिक फ्लक्स लाइन्स आर फॉर्मिंग ए लूप and all of the magnetic field lines suppose are connected with the secondary circuit as well so if <coughs> phi 0 is flux linked with each turn then what is across the primary circuit ep must be equal to np times फाइव जीरो डी अपॉन डी टी एंड वॉट इज ई एस एन एस टाइम्स डी बाई डी टी फाइव जीरो इफ आई डिवाइड दीज टू आई विल गेट सिंपल रिलेशन ई एस अपॉन ई पी इज इक्वल टू एन एस अपॉन i have used that total flux linked with the primary coil is number of turns multiplied by one turn flux associated with one turn and so on the same thing for second this ns upon np is called transformer ratio remember it transformer ratio and dear students ns if ns is greater than np that means k is greater than 1 it is called a step up transformer and if ns is less than np then k is less than 1 and i will call this as step down transformer step up and step down transformers respectively okay now come to the point that uh, how can i obtain the relation among current remember most students think that current is inversely proportional to volt um, uh, current is proportional to the voltage so i s upon i p must also be no this is not the correct one we have to talk in terms of power input power in the transformer that is across the primary coil is ep ip suppose the current is ip output power is es is dear students so efficiency of the that is output power upon input power and this is nothing but ns upon np into is by ip and i will get ratio of the current efficiency multiplied by np upon ns i think i am right that is es is Yes, I S I S upon I P. Okay. So, if nita is that is the efficiency is hundred percent, then I will get this quantity to be one, and I will say I S upon I P is N P upon N S. This is a fun, fantastic result as far as physics is concerned. How? Listen. if you are increasing the voltage at the same time current will decrease so the power remains constant because transformer is not an amplifier dear students it is simply increases the level of the voltage it never increases the power in the circuit those devices which can increase power in a circuit are defined as amplifiers as you have learned about transistor this is the difference between transformer and transistor transistor can uplift voltage current power etc